Good looks is only one objective when doing upgrades and transformations to any kitchen. When designed right, your kitchen should cook well too. Today we're in a Bosch Performance Kitchen at the West Star Kitchen and Bath in Scottsdale, Arizona. And we have with us Kurt Dunham of Lawrence Dunham Vineyards. Kurt, welcome. and. Um, What's on the menu today? Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Uh, today we're going to experiment with a couple of dishes uh, with a couple of the wines we've made. Uh, we have, we're going to do Grenache two ways and we're going to do salmon two ways. Okay. Uh, with very different cooking techniques and uh, we're hoping to use those techniques to accentuate the wine and uh, help people understand the importance of what wine is aged in and how it affects the flavors of that wine and then how the cooking techniques that you use with your foods can impart flavors into the foods that will really accentuate your wine experience. Sure, okay, so we've got um, two salmon dishes, correct? That's correct. And one I understand that you and um, David prepared yesterday on a grill yep, with David. a little chef cam, and, and so we'll take a, a peek at that and walk us through that dish a little bit. I will. Uh, David and I hit the grill yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, the preparation that we used was a cedar plank smoking technique that we used to impart some uh, some deep, rich, smoky flavors into the salmon we cooked. And it wasn't okay. conducive to doing inside today. So yeah. we hit the grill yesterday and we did two different preparations. We took uh, fresh salmon and put it on a, a cedar plank. And with one preparation, we did a uh, Grenache and, okay. and, and uh, herb marinade. So you actually used the Grenache as a marinade. That's correct. As well as paired it. That's right. Okay. And then we used a, another preparation where we did some Dijon mustard and brown sugar to get some caramelization on there, right. which, which brings out the flavors from the French oak mm -hmm. barrels that we used in the wine. Okay. We took both of those to the grill and uh, did them both. Both of them were very successful with the wine. Uh, the Grenache mm -hmm. held up very well with them and it really brought out the spice of the barrel because the Grenache we used, we, we aged it in new French oak barrels, which are uh, very traditional for a Grenache and many other wines. Okay. So what we're doing today is we're contrasting, we're, we're, pulling, just the opposite. we're pulling back the flavor profile a little mm -hmm. bit. We're, we're, we're making a poached salmon okay. and uh, we're pairing it with our Sky Island Grenache, which is aged in all neutral barrels, which means that the, there's no wood flavors imparted into the wine, so it's a much cleaner, lighter, fruitier uh, preparation that we think will go with a much lighter, cleaner, uh, less hands-on preparation technique with the salmon. Okay, so this dish here that we see in front of us. Mm -hmm. Walk us through this because um, I obviously just watched you prepare this meal and once again, as always, my stomach is rumbling up here, <laughs> but um, I wanted to start um, with the asparagus and you had mentioned that asparagus is difficult to pair with wines because... Well, the asparagus uh, throws off sulfur at, when it's cooked. Mm -hmm. And that's that, what we smell. That, that's what you smell. Okay. And so that sulfur content is a little bit difficult to pair uh, to pair wines with. So we have to be careful or pairing the wines with. We've we've added a little bit of lemon zest, fresh lemon zest mm -hmm. onto the hot asparagus to, to bring a little bit of lemon into the picture uh, without overpowering the dish. Right, okay. Uh, the key with asparagus is, is not to overcook it. Right, and you you did what you call blanching. Yes, we blanched it for a couple of minutes mm -hmm. just so it started to get softened up. Uh, we, the, the fish itself is going to be quite soft and buttery mm -hmm. and so we want to counteract that with a little bit of crunch with our vegetable on the plate so we've got different textures going on. So tell us how you actually prepared that. I, that yeah, I'd love to. Uh, we used a very, very old style cooking technique back from the Julia Child days. We actually uh, poached the salmon. Uh, grilling is very mm -hmm. popular, broiling is very popular, but poaching salmon uh, really puts the salmon in the spotlight and it doesn't overpower with other flavors. So if you've got a really nice piece of salmon, whether you're gonna serve it over a, a bed of greens or just by itself like this, uh, poaching is a great idea. However, we do wanna impart some flavors into mm -hmm. it. We use what we call, like, pardon my reach, okay. an herb de garni, and it's a, uh, a little uh, package of love that we <laughs> put into the broth before we, we start to poach. And it's a, it can be about any herbs you want. We use parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Uh, you can use bay leaf, you can use sage, whatever flavors you like, but it, it actually brings some flavors into the, into the poaching broth that are very pleasing without having to over salt or over pepper the fish, mm -hmm. which is we're trying to let that fish shine through. Just like with our Grenache, we're trying to let that Grenache shine through right. without having any oak in, in it. And it's plated up beautifully. And it's healthy. I have to say that there was not an, I didn't see, unless you fooled me, I did not see a stick of butter. I didn't see any olive oil. I saw 
no, nothing fat related here. Yeah, we can cook this as healthy as you like. Of course, the salmon is a fattier fish, so right. we're hoping to cook the salmon the just, just the right amount of time to not leach all the, all the oils out of it because even though you're cooking in a wet preparation, if you cook it too long, you're gonna get a very wet piece of dried out fish. Okay. Which is not what we're looking for. We're looking for a nice, moist, piece of fish right. with the flavorings of the poaching and the cooking method making the, the, the fish really shine through on the plate. Okay, and I'm not sure um, we can really see it. I know that we've been sitting here for a little while with this plate, but you had said that if it shows a little bit of oil on the top, then that means it's perfectly done. That's correct. It should have a little glisten to it after after it comes out of the pan for a minute or two. Right. Uh, the, the oil should start to come out. That's one of the beautiful things about mm -hmm. poaching is we're surrounding the entire piece of meat immediately with heat. Right cooking in those juices and then as the meat begins to cool the juices will come out much like you'd, you'd uh, take a roast out of the oven and let it rest. Right. Your dish is very simple and even even the, the placement of it, even the, the looks of it, very clean, very simple, very elegant. Um, what you decided to serve it up on is very clean, streamlined. The Bosch appliances are that as well. I would like to know because I know you normally cook on gas and um, I kind of switched you up a little bit this time <laughs> and I put you on an electric uh, range, a Bosch Electric, so 36 inch. Tell, tell me your thoughts on the functionality. I know you and David both had a chance to take this kitchen on a test drive and we know it looks great. Yeah. Uh, everything in this kitchen looks fabulous, it's design wise. How does it cook, honestly? How did you, felt, how did you feel it cooked and how do you feel um, about the electric cooktop in and of itself? Well, I thought it was great. I hadn't cooked on electric in quite a while, mm -hmm. uh, probably been almost 10 years. Oh, holy cow. And God. I was amazed at the, the advancements they've made in, in the speed right. and the, the amount of control you have that you like as a cook having mm -hmm. with the gas because you get instantaneous feedback mm -hmm. uh, with the gas, but the electric usually lags. And this was very, very quick and nimble. Thank you, Kurt, so much. My pleasure. Super clean, high performance to go with the simplicity of the Grenache wine. And just what goes into making a world-class Grenache? Find out after this.